Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Iron Chef Ham and Cheese Sandwich. This is made in my hotel room using the iron that is in the closet of every hotel room. And believe it or not, you can grill a ham and cheese sandwich if you know how. So I'm going to show you. Now you got to get a few things together, but you can find these all in the hotel somewhere. What you're going to do is you're going to take a towel from the bathroom. You're going to put it down on a table. You're going to take the iron and you're going to plug it in and you're going to preheat your iron to high. Now somewhere in one of the snack bars you're going to take some stuff. You're going to get some butter, ask them for a little side of mayo, they'll give it to you. And take one of the uh, plastic knives and then any of the kitchens, if you ask nicely, the host or a waiter will go into the kitchen and get you a two or three foot piece of foil. That's all you need. All right, so we're going to take our bread. I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise down and then some butter on top of the mayonnaise. Now, you may be thinking, why the butter and the mayonnaise? Because we're not going to fry this in a pan. So the eggs in the mayonnaise are going to help this brown, and it's also going to give it a little bit of a richer flavor. All right, so then you're going to put that butter mayonnaise side down. We're going to put on a couple slices of American cheese. Don't use real cheese. Use American cheese. Two slices of turkey ham, and two more slices of fromage Americaine. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other slice of bread. A little mayo, a little butter. Put that on. And then we're going to fold it up. Now, here is where you want to be careful. You want to try, if you want this to get nice and brown, you want to try to get a single layer of foil where the bread is going to hit the iron. Okay, now what I did here, when I went to fold this, I folded this edge up, watch, like halfway across. And I did roll the edges up, which is good. But see that top there where I have like an extra layer of foil? Where do you see the difference in the browning? See that side just has a single layer. And that's going to come out beautifully. I'm going to put it down on the towel. I got my very hot iron. And I'm going to press it down. You can actually hear it starting to fry the butter. This is so cool. By the way, this is just an exhibition. I don't intend for you to save lots of money making incredibly delicious sandwiches like this. It's just not safe. I don't want you to really try to do this even though it is so easy and so great. All right, now some irons are gonna turn off if you leave it on there, because they'll overheat. So you may just wanna lift it up and down a few times to keep it going. All right, and I think it's done. It's really hot, I hear it sizzling. I can smell kind of cooked bread. And uh, let's see how this looks. Now, so there's a side where I folded it over. Okay, right down that side. Now look at the difference. See, if you fold a double layer of foil, which you may be tempted to do, it's not gonna brown. It's still gonna melt and be hot. So look at that side that had just a single layer across the whole thing. Very, very cool. I mean, it's amazing how fast this works. It's like a, one of those panini presses. Just because you're in a hotel room or a motel room doesn't mean you can forget about presentation. I actually took a placemat from the snack bar where I got my equipment and my products. I'm going to cut that in half. Look at that. That's like the best grilled cheese sandwich I've ever made. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a little uh, hotel room production. Again, exhibition purposes only. And that's another reason I'm not telling you what hotel I'm in, because, you know, they will blacklist me. And uh, sorry for the bad sound. Uh, I'm using the built-in mic on the laptop. Anyway, there's no ingredients on the site, but go there anyway. And as always, enjoy. I'm gonna sit down in the kitchen and fix me something good to eat. And make my head a little high, make the whole day complete. Cause we're gonna lay around the shanty mama and put a good butt.